Have you ever thought about the potential dangers lurking in your medicine cabinet? Most of us take medications regularly without a second thought, trusting that the benefits outweigh any risks. But what if I told you that some common drugs could be quietly damaging one of your body's most vital organs, the liver? Your liver is a real workhorse, performing over 500 essential functions to keep you alive and well. From detoxifying your blood to aiding digestion and storing nutrients, this hard-working organ works tirelessly day and night. But certain medications can turn enemy, inflicting harm on this indispensable organ in the form of drug-induced liver injury, or DELE. Today, we'll shine a light on 10 culprits that top the list of potential liver offenders. Consider this a wake-up call to be more vigilant about the medications you're taking and the impact they could have on your liver health. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Let's dive in. At number one, we have the ubiquitous over-the-counter pain reliever, acetaminophen, better known as Tylenol. While perfectly safe in moderation, exceeding the recommended dosage of this seemingly innocuous drug can have dire consequences for your liver. Just one large dose can trigger an overdose, requiring emergency treatment to prevent irreversible liver damage or even failure. But even without an acute overdose, chronic overuse of acetaminophen can silently erode your liver's well-being, especially if you're battling an illness, alcoholism, or pre-existing liver issues. The moral of the story? Always read the label and never mix acetaminophen with alcohol, a recipe for disaster. Next up, we have a common antibiotic that could be quietly waging war on your liver, Augmentin. While generally safe, this medication tops the list of antibiotics most likely to cause liver injury. The risk is higher in men, older adults, and those who've taken multiple courses. Thankfully, the damage is usually reversible, but why take the chance? Moving on, we have a class of drugs that might make you think twice about popping that next painkiller, NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. One prime offender is the prescription NSAID diclofenac, known to frequently elevate liver enzymes, a telltale sign of potential liver injury. While elevated enzymes may not always cause symptoms, the risk of more severe damage increases with larger doses, longer use, and for women. Even over-the-counter NSAIDs like ibuprofen aren't entirely without risk, so moderation is key. Up next, we have a heart medication called amiodarone that offers a harsh reality check. While effectively treating abnormal heart rhythms, this drug carries a black box warning, the FDA's most serious caution, for its potential to cause liver injury. Up to 50% of long-term users may experience elevated liver enzymes, and a sobering 1% could face substantial liver damage. But the list doesn't end there. Allopurinol, a gout medication, has been known to trigger a severe multi-system reaction called DRESS syndrome, which can include liver injury as one of its unpleasant manifestations. And let's not forget the anti-seizure medication Phenytoin, which, while rare, has been linked to cases of liver failure as part of broader, body-wide adverse reactions. When it comes to medications we assume are safe, tuberculosis drugs may surprise you. Isoniazid, a powerful antibiotic used to treat this lung disease, is one of the top 10 most likely medications to cause DILI globally. While most cases are mild, the risk of severe liver inflammation from isoniazid is very real, especially for certain high-risk groups. But it's not just prescription drugs that could be putting your liver in jeopardy. Even seemingly harmless over-the-counter supplements like green tea extract and weight loss aids have been implicated in liver injury cases. Who would have thought that your quest for a slimmer waistline could come at the cost of a damaged liver? As if that weren't enough, we have a rogues gallery of cancer medications that can pack a hefty punch to your liver's well-being. From chemotherapies to targeted therapies and hormonal agents, these life-saving drugs can sometimes go too far prompting an overzealous immune response that attacks and inflames healthy liver cells. And finally, let's not overlook the immunosuppressant azathioprine and the chemotherapy staple methotrexate, both of which carry a risk of mild to severe liver toxicity, depending on dosage and duration of use. By now, you might be feeling a bit queasy, and rightfully so. 
the realization that some of the very drugs meant to heal us could be silently undermining one of our most vital organs is a sobering wake-up call. But fear not, my friends. Knowledge is power, and armed with this information, you can take proactive steps to safeguard your liver health. First and foremost, always have an open and honest dialogue with your health care provider about any medications you're taking, including over-the-counter drugs and supplements. Don't assume that just because something is readily available, it's automatically safe for your liver. Secondly, be vigilant for any signs of potential liver injury, such as abdominal pain or swelling, dark urine, nausea, unexplained weight loss, or yellowing of the skin and eyes, a telltale sign of jaundice. If you experience any of these symptoms, especially if they persist for more than a day, don't hesitate to seek medical attention immediately. Thirdly, Consider requesting regular liver function tests, especially if you're taking medications known to pose a risk to your liver. These simple blood tests can detect elevated liver enzymes before more serious damage occurs, allowing your health care provider to adjust your treatment plan accordingly. And finally, remember that moderation is key. Whenever possible, take the lowest effective dose of any medication for the shortest duration necessary. And if a safer alternative exists, don't be afraid to explore that option with your healthcare team. In conclusion, while modern medications have undoubtedly saved countless lives, we must remain vigilant about their potential risks, especially when it comes to our hard working livers. By arming ourselves with knowledge and taking proactive steps to monitor our liver health, we can continue to reap the benefits of these life saving drugs while minimizing the risks. But before I wrap things up, I want to hear from you. Have any of these medications affected your liver health or that of a loved one? What steps do you take to protect your liver? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another eye-opening video from us. The next time you reach for that pill bottle, pause for a moment and ask yourself, am I doing everything I can to protect my liver? Your future self will thank you for it. See you in the next video.